Hi, America. Fill my phone and welcome to another video. Today, we are watching the music videos for both Freak and Tasty. I, a couple weeks ago, got into watching more of Shy Girls music videos with watching the Sly and the BDE music videos. And I'm very excited to continue that saga. I know I said I would. And it's my plan to continue doing that today with both Freak and Tasty. I'm very excited to see what she has in store with, for us. I definitely think at least when it came to the Sly music video, that was a lot about giving looks. I didn't know how much in terms of like hidden meanings there were, but I'm very excited to see if we continue those looks or if we're really getting into some narratives. I don't really know, but they're both from her alias EP, which is a good time as a whole. So I'm very excited to see how it all turns out. Anyway, let's get into it. So first we're gonna start with the Freak music video and then we're gonna go into the Tasty music video. Let's get started. Ooh, there's a lot of colors going on. Initiate simulation, okay. This is very abstract. I don't like it though. Oh. They're just a few seconds ago said release baddie BBs. Oh, is it like these brats things, the baddie BBs? We're in POV mode, I guess. This kind of looks like a Teletubbies set. Just so many different angles. Oh wait, there's hands. Senses stimulated. Oh, it looks like she fell or something. Just right the do me right here on the floor line. What is happening? Is she falling? Yeah, I think she's falling. Bliss mode engaged. What kind of bliss is she experiencing? Commerce, commence climax. Oh, and then she just fades into nothing. Okay, restart freak simulation. So that was the freak music video and what a music video. Uh, first of all, I'm always impressed with any sort of like animated music video. I just know it takes longer really to, you know, draw that or simulate that rather than, you know, just acting it out. So I really do appreciate that artistry if that was Shy Girl or a team of animators. Just whoever did that, kudos to you. Yeah, this really gets into kind of like the brat styles, I guess they're called the baddie BBs or something like that, or the BBs, BBZ, the, like, these kind of brats are off-brand brats that are really just present in a lot of shy girl content, apparently. All right, uh, so it seems like this is the formation of one of them, and, like, she's going into a simulation and it turns out, like, I was like, these pink and green, like, it looked kind of like gummy. It looked kind of like the Tubby Custard Machine from Teletubbies. I don't really know. I'm really concerned. Um, because it looks like over time, those kind of morph into hands. And because, like, it looks like there's a simulation and it seems like there's stimulation. At first I thought it was like, oh, you know, a response to stimuli, you know, it's coming to life or something like that. But then it says the word climax and it says, some other stuff. I'm like, oh, oh. So it's a it's a freak stimulation happening. Oh right. So definitely, shy girl's not being shy. <laughs> like it's not really showing off her, but it's definitely clear that even though like these graphics and stuff like are kind of like seem like oddly a little nostalgic and like part of our youth and childhood. There's definitely something raunchy going on underneath it. And the fact, yeah, basically that the BB is having a, a good time. Uh, so, wow, I don't know. It's like, there's not a ton to like look at, but just like the concept of that just being your music video <laughs> of like this faux brat doll, you know, having hands all over her and you know, you know, getting to that point um, of simulation of in that enjoyment. Like, all right, I, I see what you're doing. 
I see you. Um, yeah, just congrats, honestly. It's not my favorite Shy Girl music video. I think I like the looks of Slime better and BDE. We've already talked about BDE enough times already, so I don't really need to you know, go into that too much. But I would say this one is like definitely simple, but it definitely has much more higher quality than like BB. Anyway, let's get into the Tasty Music video and see, kind of like, I don't know if BDE really is part of the Alias era or like not, but let's look at the last video we've gotten that was actually officially from the Alias era, which is Tasty. Okay, there's an old house. Oh, there's someone standing. Is that Shy Girl in the foreground? Oh, and across the screen we have T-A-S-T-Y, Tasty. Oh, I love her in red hair. Oh yes, this is definitely a different sonic direction. So I like how the video is different too. She kind of looks like she's Alice in Wonderland a little bit. Oh, we could run away some time, shy girl. <laughs> oh, and now she's all in yellow. This is a look too. I love the curls and the yellow. Oh, and now there's multiple shy girls, okay. Oh, lobster. Oh my God, her nails, iconic. Like her heart nails kind of look like the lobster claws. I just love her dancing in this look. Ooh, is that a fireworks? Yeah. And Shy Girl, he is here. So that was the Tasty music video. I like that, because first of all, it had been a minute since I heard the song Tasty. I don't know why I haven't heard it in a while. Like, I really like the song. I think it's just not as much as what I think of Shy Girl. I think of Shy Girl in the more raunchy and the more explicit and the more experimental. And this is like more like dance pop. Definitely almost reminded me a little bit of like her Sour Candy remix on <laughs> Dawn of Chromatica. Like, I definitely felt that, like, connection to some degree. Like, this music video is just very pretty. I like it. It's just very visually appealing. She is basically living the dream of, like, a princess, pretty much. Which, as she deserves, honestly. She's crushing the game there. Like, she's in this castle or this palace. And, you know, she has this, like, Alice in Wonderland look a little bit. Like, it was very good color scheme to coordinate with that. There's another one where her wig and her makeup is slightly different, but I think the wig is still red. And there's also the yellow look, obviously. There's one that her and the bed, like, there's just, oh my God. Like, I just love it for its visual appeal. Like, I think Freak doesn't really have as much visual appeal to me because as much as the Bratz dolls, like, they're cool. Like, I think Shy Girl is definitely very pretty of a girl and I think her looks I think I like them better on you know a human rather than a plastic doll <laughs> um yeah I think I just like you know the flesh and the body and like how she's like actually like emanating and how she's really embodying like what she's singing like how she's developing that sensuality and stuff like I really like this song and I like the music video for it too. Like, I think it's just a very pretty music video. Is it my favorite one? Well, I feel like Slime and this one are both very pretty. And this one, you don't have to deal with any of the dolls at all. So it's really just a focus on her, which is very nice. So I like that. BD is a whole different purpose. So we're gonna leave that out of the equation. But I think this one is a nice music video. It's definitely very visual appealing. It's definitely one I enjoy. And it feels like, like a fun song and it feels like a fun music video like she did she just had fun doing it you know she didn't do anything big in terms of like the story i don't think there is a story at least i think she's really just like being a princess in a palace and like as long as her prince treats her right you know and leaves her satisfied she's good with that said we have finished watching both music videos i have to say i liked the tasty music video better than the Freak music video. I think I also like the song Tasty better than Freak, at least now. I think Tasty just has like a fun, you know, summery kind of vibe. And Freak go definitely goes down more experimental and I think that shows in the music videos. And so are we interested in a more pop-oriented Shy Girl with Tasty? 
Ori into a more experimental shy girl, more explicit shy girl with Freak. And I think there's room for both. She doesn't have to be one or the other. She's a complex human. And I liked watching both. I thought they were both nice to watch and really get to fully engage with. So I'm glad she put out both of these pieces of art. I think in terms of rewatchable, I'll probably watch Tasty as much as like another music video I enjoy. Uh, Freak probably not as much just because I don't really get too much out of it. And I just also don't really like picturing a lot of like intimacy with like inanimate objects or animated objects. Yeah, so that that's for me, but that's just a personal preference. I think there's talent in both and there's like artistry in both. And so I appreciate both in terms of like their story and the production putting into it. Uh, but definitely I prefer Tasty more. I also plan in probably within the next month also reacting to Blue, which I know is a more long form, I think it's like 15 minutes, uh, like music video documentary, not a documentary, but like, like I think there's like a short film basically I think that's what Blue is, and it contains snippets of a bunch of songs from Alias Inc., as well as BDE. So I'm excited to check that out uh, in the future and see really where she sees the whole era when it's all combined together. I think that will be really cool. What did you think of these videos? Did you like them? Did you not? Why or why not? Please let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please like it, please comment down below, share me, react, or listen to you next. Subscribe to my channel if you're not ready and you'd like to be. And thanks for watching. This is Charles Stormer. Catch you later. It's storming turtles from out of the sky. Turtles don't need to know why. Smile big, open your eyes. It's storming turtles, it's storming turtles from out of the sky. Turtles don't need to know why. Smile big, open.